this morning we're going to show you how to use the Cinco channel pipettes and these are very common in the lab and uh, these are called the fin pits but uh, some labs have the uh, Gilson pipettes and so these are the uh, single channel pipettes and we're going to show you how you use them now if you look at it from the side right here you will see a uh, knob on the top and this is the knob that turns to change the volume all right and then you will see a window that has all the numbers and you can adjust it it's in microliter volumes okay uh, perhaps where we need to begin is we need to begin with the colors now the students as a student you need to commit to memory the different colors because it saves you a lot of time in the lab for instance the blue stands for the P1000 this one will measure volume large volumes up to 1000 microliters the yellow will measure volume up to 200 microliters the orange will measure volume up to 50 microliters and the gray will measure volume up to 10 microliters now the first thing that I need to point out is that on the side of each one of these is the range within which you can pipe at volumes so the blue one the P1000 is called P1000 it has a range of 100 microliters to 1000 the next one yellow one has a range of 20 to 200 microliters the orange one has a range of 5 to 50 microliters and the gray one has a range of 0.5 up to 10 microliters so if you're going to pipe at a certain volume for instance if you need to pipe at 150 microliters well you know you're thinking in terms of yellow and the blue okay yellow goes from 20 to 200 so it contains 150 and the blue goes from 100 to 1000 so the question is this how do you decide which one to use since both of these pipettes contain the volume well here's how you decide you use the smaller pipette that contains that volume okay 150 microliters is contained in the large one the P1000 it's also contained within the range of the P200 all right by choice and according to our standards it's more accurate to pipe at 150 microliters using the smaller of the two okay same thing with a smaller volume if you were going to pipe at 7.5 microliters well 7.5 is actually contained in the gray range and in the orange range well which one of these do you use whether well, you use the smaller of the two the uh, gray one that goes from 0.5 up to 10 because it will be more accurate to do it that way okay now uh, there is a certain way that you need to treat these pipettes uh, to adjust the volume we simply turn the top knob right here and you watch the number within the window changing right here okay and each one of these of course is in microliter volume and so forth and so when you hold it you're gonna hold it in your right hand like this okay and you're gonna hold it with the window turning towards you so you can see the numbers and now I'm going to show you the most important aspect of pipetting and that is when you hold it in your hand like that and you push down push down very slightly it stops but if I force it it goes past that sign now it's just like a traffic sign right at 3 o'clock in the morning you come to a stop sign it means stop don't go past that all right if I press this knob slightly down and when I come to that stop and if I stop that's exactly 780 microliters if I were to use that to pipe it but 
If I go past that stop, that's more than 780 microliters. So that's not very accurate. So uh, to pipette, come to the first stop, and that's it. Okay? To eject, you actually go past the stop because you want all the volume within the pipette tip to come out. All right, pipetting. We usually have two types of boxes for pipette tips. One is a large one, and we usually call this the blue box. Sometimes it's not blue, and sometimes the tips are not blue, but we call it blue, blue box, and because of the blue knob right here. And uh, it's used for the P1000. Oh, by the way, these are all called by the following names. This is P1000, P200, P50, and P10, okay? Now, the large tips, uh, we call them blue tip, and then we have a smaller one that takes the P200, P50, and P10, all right? You have the blue tip for the large pipette, you have the yellow tip for the small pipettes, all right? Here's how you load it. Open the box, like so, and put it on a flat surface. You adjust the volume. Let's say I want to pipe at 800 microliters. I dial it, dial the top knob to 800 microliters, and then you gently and firmly work it like that. It fits perfectly, and when you lift it out, you've got the pipe bed. Now, Every pipette tips that we have in the lab are all autoclave, so make sure you don't uh, touch these with any bare hands because you have nucleases and proteases on your, uh, on your hand. And so you get the tip like so, and let's say I want to pipe at 800 microliters from this to a small tube. Here's what you do. You stick this down and you push until you come to the first stop sign and then you stick it in the liquid and you guide it up very gently and that is exactly 800 microliters. Okay? Now, I'm going to transfer it to a small pipette, so uh, a small tube. So I pick the tube up at eye level where you can actually see, stick the tip in there and push to eject and push all the way past the stop sign. Pull it out, let it up. Okay? I'm going to do it again. Now I want to transfer this back to the original tube. So I press it down until I get to the stop sign. And I gently and guide up the liquid fluid in the tip. And I pick up the destination tube. I stick it down there and I push and then go past the stop sign, pull it out, and there you go. Same thing with the smaller pipettes. You take the uh, P200, and I'm dialing it to 100 microliters. That's how much we're going to measure. You open up the yellow tip box, and you put it, put a tip at the end of it. You transfer, you go down to the first stop, you guide it up, that's exactly 100 microliters. You pick up the destination tube, and then you put it in, and you slowly eject it, go past that, take it out. And 100 microliters is transferred from the large tube to the smaller tube. Now, how about if you're pipetting things into, and you're mixing up a number of volumes in here? Well, the best way to do that, I always tell the students, is, and it depends on what industry you're in. For biotech, when we transfer into a tube that already has liquid, I tell the students to stick it all the way into the liquid, eject into the liquid, and pipe it up and down to wash whatever that you're transferring off, push down past the stop sign, and pull it out, like so. Now, in other industries, they will tell you differently, and that is, I know for clinical laboratory science in the lab, when you transfer a small volume, you do that, and you wipe off the tip to make sure there's nothing, no extra liquid on the outside, 
and when you eject you're going to eject to the side of the tube like so and pull it out okay it just depends on what industry you're working in but for biotech you actually stick it into the liquid wash it off and pull it back out that's how we use the micropipettes thank you